everyone welcome back to my channel today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use the Astralis contour kit and so here's the before and after of me using this kit and as you can tell it's just it's a really really beautiful finish I was so impressed with this palette and here's me just being a silly bastard but as you guys know I've already done a tutorial on how to use the Anastasia contour kit which I will link down below for you guys and I've also done a comparison of the two kits as well up on my channel which I'll link down below as well so if you want to figure out how to use this contour kit then please stay Stay tuned. So I'm going to start off with a banana powder to seat the concealer under my eyes and boom look at that dustiness you guys. These powders are definitely dusty but I do like them on the skin they're not too heavy and powdery. So obviously I'm putting that under my eyes and in my t-zone where I get oily. Moving on to the next powder, I'm going to be using this EXO Beauty brush, which is so dirty, and I'm going to be taking this chocolate coloured bronzer, but I definitely won't be seen using the Havana shade, because damn that's orange. So I'm just dipping my brush in there, tapping off the excess of course, and then gently buffing this powder onto my skin. And yeah, it just leaves a really nice subtle finish. If you use too much, you might look a bit muddy, so just be careful with that. So I'm going around the outer perimeters of my face, on my cheekbones of course. Now I'm going in with this taupe shade here and I'm using a little domed brush and dipping it in. And I'm just drawing the lines on my face first and there you go, it is super pigmented. And then once I've actually placed the product around my face, as you can see I'm putting it on my temples here, and along my jawline, a little bit under my lip, and then I'm using the brush to really really buff it in. And I've actually used this clip to show you guys in real time what it's like to buff this out so as you can see it's not an easy process I did apply too much on that side so it was a little bit more difficult to blend out but as you can see it is possible um, and it doesn't look too terrible you just really have to work with it if you do use too much product now I'm taking that same colour on a smaller blending brush and just popping that down my nose just to give my nose a little bit of a contour and then I'm taking my flat foundation brush and going over these powders because I do want it to look more natural, that doesn't make any sense, but I do want it to really blend into my skin quite nicely and I love this trick because I can be heavy handed sometimes so you guys probably know that already but... Now I'm using this vanilla shade from the palette and I'm going to use this to sharpen my contour and I like to do this sometimes because the contour at the front of my cheek can drag down a bit at times and now I'm using this shimmer highlight shade which I'm actually really impressed with considering the price point. It's not as good as the Anastasia one but as you can see it gives a really really nice glow and I think it would be really great for those of you starting out with contouring who want to give it a go because you're not going to be able to go over the top with this highlighter. It's not over the top. You can see here I'm double laying it on the tip of my nose to really get that glow that I love. And I'm also popping that above my eyebrows and on my chin just to tie the look in together. And here is the dustiness you guys. Blowing that away because that's a lot. And this is the final look you guys. I absolutely love the result of using this palette. I just think that the end result is super glamorous. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video and seeing me transform from this to this it's just so glamorous I can't stop saying that but I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you if you have this let me know in the comment section if you loved it or hated it and I'll see you guys in my next video